Happy birthday, dickhead. <laughs> Good if you want it. Okay. Wax of contrition time. Okay. And uh, oh my, look what's still down here from last oh. night. We're having a little bit of a disco boogie uh, contest last night with Blondie's uh, Auto American record. It's the most rapture. Everybody loves rapture. Fab Five Freddy told me everybody's fly. DJ spin and I said, my, my, Flash is fast. Flash is cool. Francois, c'est pas. Flash ain't no dude. And don't stop. Sure shot. Go out to the parking lot. And you get in your car and you drive real far. Drive all night, then you see a light. It comes right down and lands on the ground. Out comes a man from Mars. He's trying to run, but he's got a gun. And he shoots you dead and eats your head. And then you're in the man from Mars. You go out at night. Eating cars, you eat Cadillacs, Lincoln Stu, Mercury, and Subaru. Okay, way too much fun with that. <laughs> anyway, we're not actually doing Blondie this week. We are doing the theme of the show. We are going to be focused on Ghoul's 2016 album, Splatter Thrash. Digester's Vision had already produced two high-quality albums with 2002's We Came for the Dead, and 2003's Maniacs. But the three-year wait and lineup changes that led to 2006's Splatter Thrash record found the band significantly upping their game with members and ex-members of highly respected bands like Impaled and Exhumed now gracing their blood-spattered ranks. Ghoul presses on with a new set of demented stories of the downtrodden slashing away of their oppressors with a bolstered riff attack very much in the vein of SOD's hollowed classic Speak English or Die, swirled with later carcass. There is no shortage of wacky voiceovers, humorous lyrics, or segs into surf rock for this go-round. The arrangement sounds like a veteran band, a well-oiled machine, never far from a truly killer riff that normally introduces gorgeous lyrical vote guitar solos. This song is Gut Bucket Blues. Okay, continuing on with Google's Splatter Thrash record, the strength of the album is evident from the start. I've never been much for uh, instrumental intros. But the first track on this thing, Into the Catacombs, is excellent. It's almost orchestral. It reminds me of something off Ride the Lightning. I swear. True story. Um, the inspiring story of nerd-turned-killer that is Mutant Mutilator. That's another prime example of the band's deadly progression. This one, as well as Rise, Killbot Rise, sporting cool bass breakouts from Cremator. In terms of surf rock outbursts, both Cult of the Hunted and the instrumental Psychoplasm dabble in Dick Dale Land for a few bars. The title track it slides into probably the best riff on the whole album. The chorus, pure metal zombie brain static. Plus, the whole thing is lovingly ensconced in Greg Oak's hilarious cartoon artwork. Splatter Thrash is proof that a band can deliver an album that is equal parts vile horror and high concept, while musically impressive and without taking themselves too seriously. This is one of the most fun records of that decade. So let's play a song. This is Mutant Mutilator. This is the Snaggletooth Extreme Metal Podcast. (laughs) 